Right then, what we're going to show you how to make is one another uh, absolute um, favourite of Jenna's, which is the stuffed courgettes with pine nut salsa from the one and only Ottolenghi Simple Cookbook. Really good dish, really easy to make, and it's simply that's what it should look like when it's done. Simply, what you need is some really big courgettes, good enough for you to slice, good enough for you to, to, to scoop out the innards, and then fill. Make, it, make a mixture, and then fill. So pretty much the core ingredients of this is, obviously, your courgettes, you're gonna, you're gonna get the, uh, the rind off a lemon, you're gonna squeeze the lemon, you can either use fresh garlic or you're going to use um, pre-made garlic. Um, it's asked for oregano, but I'm going to use fresh co uh, coriander and also some, some dried oregano. Can't always add anything fresh. And then we're going to have some parmesan cheese grated, some sourdough, 40 grams. Always good to just have some little scales ready. You can just make sure the ingredients. And then one beaten egg. And that's pretty much all the ingredients are going to here. We're going to scoop out the courgette. We're going to drain and, and get all the liquid out of that. Add that back in, make the mixture, and then back into the courgettes and back it, and then into the oven. So what we're going to do, we're just going to cut the courgettes into half. Really simple. We don't really need the end, so just chop that off. A little trick I always learned at college was always to bend your fingers in, like this. So when you're cutting, you never do, do your fingers. And then obviously when you're not using your fingers, you're not in need to hold on to anything, use the arc of the, of the knife to cut. So here we've got the coriander and you just use the arc. Just let the, let the, the blade do the work. But just simply for this, we just need to cut this in half. Just a little trick of the trade. Simply there. These are really good sized courgettes, ideal for this. Right, so once you cut the courgettes in half, what you need to do is you need to scoop it out. Simply you can just get a knife, you can just do a little V around the, the side just to give it a sort of guideline and then you can use any kind of spoon you want. I, you, know, you can use an ice cream scoop if you want, but pretty much all you need to do is scoop it out into here, into a bowl. Try and do it as neatly as you can, you, you know, you want a good, good presentation here. You want it sort of symmetrical as well. You don't want it to be too thin, otherwise the, the core jet will go gloopy. You want it to hold it, the frame, make sure you, you get that. Right, so once you've scooped these out, you should have some lovely little boats ready you know so uh, you've scooped them out you've got the flesh here now what you can do with this is you want to get the water out you can either do this with a sieve or you can just take it by hand and squeeze it in the, in, in the sink I'm just gonna do the latter easier right what we need to do now is we need to grate the parmesan also the lemon get the zest of the lemon uh, this Joseph Joseph grate is brilliant so he's compact you take it out of the box Put it together into a cube and then you put this down and it holds it in place. It's really, really good. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use that one to grate. Just get some zested lemon. Really good device this. You see, we've cut up the uh, Got the lemon, we've also got the coriander there. So 35 grams, just gonna weigh this out. 
two different ways you can do this. You can get a pestle and mortar and, and do it that way, or you could actually do it on the on the edge of a blade. You could, you know, just. I think this one's pretty easy. It just saves all washing up. And then once you've done that, you can just then finally ch um, chop it. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the pine nuts, the herbs and the lemon zest just into a bowl we're going to mix it up by hand we're going to add the mixture the rest of the, the courgette in it back into here all right so what we need is we need 40 grams of parmesan cheese this grater here on the sides really ideal really good right so we need to beat one egg Bit of garlic. And then the parmesan cheese. We're gonna stir that round. Then what we're gonna do is we need 40 grams of the sourdough. We're gonna crumble that up and put that in as well. I'm a bit of a messy chef, but I do like to tidy up as I go along. Right, so we've got the two mixtures. We're going to add these together. Mix this up. You can add a twist. You can have a twist this, whatever you want, but you know, you can have tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and anything you want really. You can change the herbs you use. You could use lime instead of lemon. You, could, you can generally just use what you've got in, you know. You, the general core ingredient that's really important is the eggs, because it and that allows the mixture to, to form together. It adds to the texture and the flavor allows it most importantly to set when it's cooking and it's cooked. Right, so what we want to do is we want to add some olive oil to the actual cool jets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drizzle a little bit in, not much. You can transfer this over. You can do this with your fingers and you just get your fingers and just line it and also on the, on the rims as well transfer that into the next one right so what we need to do we need to preset the oven for 230 degrees before we start and then this will require 15 minutes baking time once we've scooped this back into the mix right really easy to scoop this in Spoon. You can also get this and you can just sort of squeeze it in by hand. Just quite make sure it's you know really compact on the inside. You have to do it all by by, by a spoon. Get your hands messy. You know, there are the cool jets ready. Get those in, in the oven for 15 minutes and then Bob's your uncle. Alexa, set the timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. And then you can quite simply just enjoy your beer, relax, listen to some music, and hopefully. Um, set the table, woo my wife over with a bit of Prosecco, one of her favourite dishes, and then uh, have a bit of a uh, lockdown heaven.
wine matching. Definitely a white wine with this dish. I'm gonna go for a 2018 Southeastern Australian Vognier, the Big Mo. The Vognier grape is really nice, really quite complex. Always quite a strong wine when it's from uh, the New World. 14.5%. Let's look at the final product. And there we have the stuffed Cool Jets. Happy Easter everyone.